Well, welcome once again to an edition of Kurt saw something shiny and decided to go do it. What do we have here? Here's what we have. I know what you're thinking. It's just 3D printer. Well, it's printing parts to the 100, the super fast printer. You'll notice already this print head. Okay, you won't notice this. I notice this because I see it all the time. It's actually going very fast. Um, it's running at 300% speed because I'm running Clipper now. The Clipper firmware. This is not Clipper, this is Mainsail, which is a front end to Clipper, which is running on the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. Plenty of, if you want to do some research on that, there's plenty of research. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to talk about that now, but the important part is that in order to really run the software, uh, the, the printer at its fastest, you're going to have to use Clipper, so I'm becoming familiar with it. Already printing parts out, as you can see. The prints of, parts I've already got, I printed out the... Uh, this is the main. Oops, upside down. This is the main. Um, I know what's <laughs> right side up. Now it's upside down. This is the uh, gantry, the cooling thing. The, the fans go on top, blow downwards, and onto the part. Um, this is the carrier, it slides back and forth for the um, the hot end, and this is the part that retains the hot end. And that's all I've gotten so far because I've only just started printing out. I'm printing out with a 0.06 or sorry, 0.6 millimeter head at 300% speed, so it's gonna print out quickly. All the parts that I'm needing are already ordered from AliExpress, and apparently the way that works is if I order if I order 50 parts, it places 50 orders with 50 vendors, and I'm gonna expect 50 packages. Um, they should start arriving here within a few weeks, but I'll have all of the necessary parts to actually make the 100 printer. And with any luck, this will go way, 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 way faster once I've built it. I also bought these little guys. These are accelerometers. There. Oh, you mount them on the head, and then they feed back into the, uh, through the I2C to the Pi itself. And then you can run shaping software, a shaper or something like that, where it actually measures the resonance of the head and compensates for the shake of the printer when it's running at extremely high speeds. So you get very, very good quality prints, apparently. Can't wait to try that out. Um, so the world of high speed 3D printing is what I'm working on now in my spare time. Right. Well, more updates when I have them and uh, see you later.